Hey guys, Matt Marchman here from Warrior Fitness and Health, and I'll coach busy people to create fitter and healthier lifestyles with my PT, my boot camps, and my nutritional consultations. Welcome to the latest vlog, and in this vlog, I want to discuss with you muscle soreness, coping with muscle soreness, and the best ways to alleviate that. Because we've all had muscle soreness, or DOMS, haven't we? Let's discuss first what it is. What is muscle soreness, or DOMS? D-O-M-S. Delayed onset muscle soreness. You know the feeling. You've done some exercise and the next couple of days, oh God, my legs are stiff, I can barely move them. You're waddling, people are asking you if you've hurt yourself. It's muscle soreness or DOMS. When does it kick in? It varies from person to person, but it usually kicks in between 12 and 48 hours after exercise. Who gets DOMS or muscle soreness? People new to exercise or people doing a different form of exercise. So, a couple of examples, people who usually get muscle soreness. You've got people who go running all the time and they get used to running. Put them in a gym, they're getting sore. Put them swimming, they're getting sore because they're using different stimulus to what they're used to. My warrior boot campers, online, outdoors and indoors, they're getting sore pretty regular because every single session is different. So I keep their bodies guessing and they never get used to any particular form of exercise. If you're interested in warrior boot camps, contact me. I'll speak to you about it. Um, shameless plug. Um, DOMS or muscle soreness often causes the muscles to be tender when we touch them. It often causes swelling within the muscle and it often causes a lot of stiffness whilst we're moving. So that's what DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness is or muscle stiffness. Let's talk about some of the causes. So some of the causes are you're doing a different form of exercise you don't normally do. You're doing a different frequency of exercise you wouldn't normally do. You're working at a different intensity you would not normally do. It's caused by microscopic tears in the muscle fibres. And before you go, oh no, I'm, I'm tearing muscles. These microscopic tears are actually part of the stimulus recovery and adaptation equation. You need microscopic tears in the muscles for you to recover, to make yourself better, ready for the next form of exercise. So I'm not saying soreness is a be all and end all an indicator of exercise, but if you're not getting sore every now and again, you may need to question if you're exercising hard enough or not. So I guess we best talk about what is the top three tips to deal with DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness or muscle stiffness, and how you can alleviate some of the symptoms. So tip number one, gentle movement and stretching. So imagine this, on day one you exercise, on day two you wake up sore, or with DOMS. Go for a walk, go for a gentle bike. Just move, do some light stretching. If you've got a tight core, do some light stretching and mobility. Get blood into those microscopic tears so healing can take place faster. So tip number one, gentle movement, gentle stretching. Tip number two, gentle self-massage or go for a massage. So I'm talking foam rollering. I'm talking a massage gun. These ones that you can buy that self-trigger massage. Or if you can afford it and you can get a book in, Go and get a massage. This is going to increase muscle flow, uh, blood flow. It's going to reduce lactic acid. It's going to prevent um, a, a massive immune response where you are sore for longer. It's going to promote recovery. So that's tip number two. Tip number three. Tip number three is absolutely a Marmite thing. But science does prove it. A 10 to 15 minute soak in a cold bath or under a cold shower. The water should be between 10 and 15 degrees. You don't have to have an ice bath, that is for elite athletes. It's a bit of a Marmite thing, some people can do it, some people don't. But the science proves if you have gentle movement and stretching, if you have some sort of massage or a cold bath or shower stimulus, that will reduce the time of your muscle soreness or DOMS. And as a bonus tip, 
Internal anti-inflammatories, i.e. ibuprofen, science shows these do not work. They mask the pain, they don't do anything to reduce the soreness. The best healer of all time is time. Soreness can be a great thing as long as it's not impeding future performance. That is the causes of DOMS and muscle soreness and the top three tips that you can do to help you cope with it. If you found it useful, do all the sexy stuff. Like it, share it, tag somebody else in, drop a comment in. Have you got any tips that have really helped you with muscle soreness? Is there any supplements you take? Drop them in the comments, let's start the conversation. And if you would like to know any more about my PT, my boot camps, my nutritional consultations, send a DM, we'll start a conversation, we'll see how it goes. Love your loads. Speak to you soon.